afternoon. I am Michael Hurst, principal of Blacksburg High School, and it's very exciting to have everyone here. It is my honor and great privilege this afternoon to welcome you to today's groundbreaking service. Blacksburg High School is a community rich with academic traditions. Today, we mark the beginning of a new chapter in Blacksburg's history and extend our academic tradition into the future. A special welcome goes also to many of our honored participants. Uh, I hope I don't miss anyone, but I believe Watt Hopkins from uh, the school board, uh, Board of Supervisors members, I noticed, Annette Perkins, John Muffo, Mr. Craig Meadows is the Montgomery County Administrator, as well as Walt Shannon, Nelson Simpkins, Daniel, uh, Dan Baranato, Director of Facilities, Mary Fain is Assistant Principal of Blacksburg High School, Greg Stick, also an Assistant Principal, and Amanda Widener. Uh, one of the parent leaders of our PTSA is Connie Froggett, and representatives from SHW Architects, Mr. Bill Bradley, and uh, from the contractor, Branch and Associates, Ms. Kathy Underwood. So thank you for being with us. Also, of course, guests and speakers today are Ms. Brenda Blackburn, our superintendent, Mr. Joe Ivers from District F, uh, Montgomery County Board of Supervisors Chairman, Mr. James Politas, uh, also Mary Biggs from District F, Blacksburg Mayor Ron Rordon are here to all share a little bit with us today. Also like to welcome the town council members of the city of Blacksburg. Thank you for your attendance. This is truly a joyous occasion. We have been on a journey full of challenges, especially since that cold Saturday morning on February 13th of 2010, when our gymnasium roof came crashing down at 520 Patrick Henry. On that day, and in that event, we experienced a near miss, an almost tragedy, with no loss of life or limb, and we just had to carry on, so we did. The slogan for that week was, we are the Bruins and we will not crumble. We rallied around that slogan. Today, we have a different slogan. We are building Bruins for the future. Not a bad slogan, and we are building Bruins for the future. We have many students representing us with the yellow hats that say building Bruins, so thank you students for being with us. As life often does, we have come full circle to today as we celebrate the, gear, the groundbreaking. It's an inspiring and critically needed new building that we are going to erect on this site. Today, we celebrate among friends, friends who share our vision and inspiration for the future of Blacksburg High School. Friends and a community who recognize the importance of providing for a first class education to prepare our children for success in the 21st century. Today we see the project already underway. It is a dream come true, and yet it is a reality that on this spot there will be a structure that will support the growth and development of a new generation. The next 50 years will bring new challenges that must be met. Let this day mark our unending commitment to the academic social, artistic, athletic, and intellectual development for a new generation. The project that we are celebrating has required leadership and foresight, careful planning, and today we have golden shovels, just as our children have golden dreams. These golden shovels also symbolize turning over new ground and working hard. We know that each of you here today has worked hard in and has had a special role in getting us to this point. It is only through genuine collaboration that communities and schools, businesses and educators, politicians and architects can provide the best plans for great schools for our children to reach for the stars. On behalf of the Blacksburg High School faculty and staff, students and community, I would like to express our appreciation to the Montgomery County School Board, to the Board of Supervisors, to our superintendent, and to other school division leaders. It is through their vision, through their leadership and collaboration, that ongoing excellence in education for future generations is possible. I'd also like to thank the Blacksburg parents, our teachers and faculty, community members who have stepped up 
to make sure that Blacksburg's needs were made known and made a priority. We are grateful for their collective vision, for their commitment, for their persist persistence, and for their wisdom to make this project a reality. And then finally, I want to thank the young people whose lives will be most impacted by what this building and its faculty have to offer. We are truly building for the future, and you will make the difference. The impact this project will have on your lives cannot be measured. As educators, we must prepare our students for a high-tech, information-based world. The entire building will encourage the, the best in real-world and authentic learning opportunities. But this building is more than a school. It will also be a community center for various events, from public meetings, drama performances in the auditorium, to athletic competitions and club activities and extracurricular events and tournaments after, in after-school hours. And so it is with great anticipation that I look forward to standing here with you at the completion of this project, hopefully in August of 2013. At this time, I'm pleased to introduce Montgomery County Superintendent, Ms. Brenda Blackburn. You know, it always pays to check your speech against the guy in front of you. So I'm going to repeat a few things that uh, Michael said, but, you know, I just have to tell you all, how many of you are excited? I am so excited about this day. I, when I got up this morning, I said, you know, my first day in Montgomery County, there was a focus on Blacksburg High School, but it was the loss of Blacksburg High School. And today, I am just so excited to be focused on the new Blacksburg High School and building Bruins. And uh, I think we've got just the right place for that to happen. Um, as Michael said, you know, the efforts of many have made this day possible. Uh, school board, board of supervisors, and the community. The tenacity, the passion, that has gone into getting us to where we are today have been amazing. Uh, representing our school board today, and I'm going to ask these folks to stand uh, so that you can actually see who they are, uh, is our vice chair, Joe Ivers. And we had a number of our members today who had conflicts, but they said, move forward because it's very important that we get going. And I hadn't been out here in 10 days, and so I was surprised to see just how much get going we have already done. So thank you, Joe, for representing the school board today. Mrs. Albritton requested that I specifically let you know that only a required meeting of her work out in St. Louis would have allowed her to miss this because she has been so excited about the new Blacksburg High School. Mr. Jones is with his son Sam attending the state uh, golf tournament and I got an email just a little while ago, Blacksburg High School third in the state in uh, golf today. So congratulations to you. Uh, Mr. Jones also said he was going to send me a brief paragraph to read. Well, it's about two, two pages long. So when any of you see him, if he asks you if I said that, would you just say yes? <laughs> Tell him that was the best part of the speech. I'm going to... I'm going to take some uh, liberty with his, uh, his uh, letter, but I will read parts of it today. And I know y'all won't tell on me. Uh, I'm also very pleased to recognize our supervisors who are present today. We have, and if they would stand so that you can see them here, uh, it's been my pleasure to get to work with this outstanding group of folks. Uh, Jim Politis, Bill Brown, uh, I don't believe Doug Mars or Gary Creed are here. I didn't see them if they are. Uh, Mary Biggs, Annette Perkins, John Muffo have uh, provided great leadership and have made some very tough decisions to get us to this point. We salute you for that. I believe we also have Delegate Nutter with us. Delegate Nutter? I missed you. Okay. We're so happy to have both of you with us. And they were cheerleading. Uh, 
they were cheerleading for us. As you know, we ended up getting $15 million in 0% uh, QSCAP bonds, and uh, both Delegate, Delegate Nutter and Senator Edwards were cheering us on in that pursuit of that $15 million, which was specifically tagged for Blacksburg, but which becomes a part of the $124.5 million that we're investing in educational facilities in Montgomery County. There are two or three other people I need to just mention. I could, I'd like to mention the whole audience, so uh, bear with me if I take uh, longer than I should, and the rain's going away, I know. Uh, Craig Meadows, our, town man our county manager, Ron Rordham, our mayor of town of Blacksburg, and Mark Verniel. Is Mark here? I haven't no, seen Mark. Mark, oh. Mark. Well, listen, I have to say, you know, these guys have just been great. Uh, they always take my phone call. And that means a lot to me. So uh, they've been uh, very responsive to the needs of the school uh, division and their recognition of just how important a quality uh, school system and a quality school facility are to this community. Our audience, BHS parents, students, faculty, staff, and administrators, if you would stand and let us see who you are so we can salute you. You have been wonderful. And our community members who are here today, we thank you. You've been very patient with us. And there's a very special group, and I don't know if they're represented here today, but if you are a part of the Blacksburg Middle School faculty, staff, or student, if you would stand and be recognized because you have been fabulous. enough about the resilience and the flexibility of youth. I used to be young, but you're young now, and you know, you have just been troopers with our uh, conversion of the old Christiansburg Middle School into your Blacksburg Middle School, and uh, the kids always tell me that they're doing fine, and I love that, and the teachers uh, smiles on their faces and always focused on the kids. So I look forward to our continued work with uh, this project, and I want to also again recognize our uh, representative from Branch and Associates, Kathy Underwood. Kathy, if you'd stand. And Bill Bradley, our architect for the DHS project. And I hope some of you will be able to come out this evening and see the presentation of the design of BHS at 5.30, and it's inside so you'll like that much better in the cafeteria at the uh, high school building. So now remarks from uh, Board Chair Jones. And remember, you're not supposed to tell him if I left out anything. Good afternoon and greetings. Today we are celebrating a new beginning, a new and exciting adventure that will culminate in the opening of a wonderful 21st century Blacksburg High School for our students and our community. It has been a long and arduous journey to accomplish this groundbreaking today, and there are many, many people to thank for this effort. I personally would like to thank the Blacksburg community for your passion to ensure that we build a quality and safe facility that will serve our educational needs for many generations in the future. I offer my thanks to the Board of Supervisors and the Town of Blacksburg for their efforts, support, and willingness to step out of their comfort zone to make the new VHS a reality. Today we break ground on a 21st century high school, and as I, or as we, look forward to the opening and fall of 2013, we must recognize that a 21st century high school is much more than bricks, mortar, and overall size. It simply is a team of dedicated educators and administrators who care about teaching, care about students, care about community that they serve. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the dedicated team of educators, administrators, and community right here in Montgomery County. Each day a child enters a Montgomery County school seeking many things. Some seek simply a hot meal, a warm smile, and a gentle hug. They enter eager to learn and grow regardless of the challenges they may face. We as a community are charged to ensure that each student is provided with the best possible learning environment. Today we break ground with a vision of providing our students with a 21st century facility learning and learning environment. The team of educators, administrators, and the community will do the rest. 
I close today by offering you a challenge. For me personally, today the clock stops ticking on how many days Blacksburg community has been without a high school. And a new clock begins to tick, one that counts down the days to the opening of a BHS See you in the summer of 2013. Thanks, Wendell. And I would close, remember I said every word on the page. Um, I would close by thanking you for joining us today. It is a great celebration for this community. And for me uh, personally, it is a culmination of a lot of things that have happened in the last 18 months of my life and a culmination of having built some wonderful relations with a lot of the people in this community, and I thank you for being here today. I will apologize to my band director, who is all queued up to play the national anthem, so the band would play the national anthem, and then Joe Ivers will come forward. Joe Ivers and I'm District F School Board representative. And District F is right over there and right over here. So it's good to see some of you here. It is my honor and privilege to welcome you to today's groundbreaking ceremony, which celebrates the visible beginning of a new milestone in the journey of Montgomery County Public Schools and Blacksburg. It is also my honor to introduce some very distinguished members of the audience. Now, unfortunately, we did not check each other's speeches, so we're going to have some duplications here. But I think you can live with it. Uh, yes, up here um, on the stage and in the front row, we have an assortment of what I consider very good elected officials, many who have played extremely important roles in the process that has brought us here today. The calamity that happened at, B at Blackbird High School brought together the Montgomery County School Board the Montgomery County uh, supervisors and officials, and many of them are here, the Blacksburg Town Council, in the front row and about, <coughs> and their officials, and some local state delegates and state senators who are up here at the, at the stage. Both Democrats and Republicans came together. Without 100% cooperation from each one of these ladies and gentlemen, we would not be here today. Won't you join me in applauding them? <laughs> now for the distinguished members of our audience. Approximately one week after the gym collapsed, our students were back in classes. <clears throat> what great cooperation this took. Students, both middle and high school, who had to double shift, Parents who had schedules that were thrown into a turmoil, transporting students, being home or on call, and some parents with students in both schools, the first session and the second session, were thrown into even greater turmoil, trying to schedule events, appointments, and even meals. Teachers who had to move things needed into to continue teaching at the high caliber that they and we are used to, they were given emergency time to get into the uh, Blackbird High School 
to pull out some of their belongings and set up classes in the middle school. Middle school teachers had to consolidate their materials, accommodate the teachers coming in. Not to mention the high school, excuse me, not to mention the great cooperation from the support staff and what their work was like preparing the schools for the double shifting. And then things, <clears throat> and then the things most of us probably don't realize is that many of the school personnel may have lost second jobs to support their families because of the double shifting. So months later, we moved the middle school to the old Christiansburg Middle School. The sacrifices become even greater. Prep work for the old Christiansburg Middle School, moving the middle school teachers to old Christiansburg Middle School, moving Blacksburg High School's teachers into the BMS, and then working the bus routes, the lunch challenges of both schools, and on and on. And of course, the parents who had to transport their children, in many cases halfway across the county, not many people are aware of the physical aches and pains there were. Nor are many people aware of the emotional roller coaster student that teachers went through with lots of anger, frustration, and tears. Being uprooted from a room that you've been in for years, and in some cases 20 years, is a diff is difficult task. Literally thrown into a school that was not built to accommodate your students. So what has been the outcome of this up to this point? Hardships, yes. Difficulties, yes. Challenges, definitely. Have we overcome the hardships? Have we met the challenges? How about this? Blacksburg Middle School students sent their, excuse me, Blacks, Blacksburg Middle School has sent their first group of ninth, grade, ninth graders up to Blacksburg High School, obviously well prepared. With the hard work done by the Blacksburg High School teachers and staff and a makeshift school with all of the students, ninth, tenth graders, juniors and seniors, as well as special education students, they overcame all the challenges and hardships. They are not only fully accredited, but they met the No Child Left Behind standards in adequate yearly progress. The only high school in the county to do so. Middle school teachers, high school teachers, middle school students, high school students, and all parents involved. You are the distinguished members of this audience. Would you please stand? What a wonderful celebration. What a great success we've had during the most difficult of times. I would appreciate it if you would give me the honor of breaking ground for you and the future. Thank you. I would introduce uh, Supervisor Politis at this time. Good afternoon. I'm going to be brief. Everything that could be said was said before me, so I don't really feel it's necessary to repeat. But what I will say is I'm very proud to be a, be a participant in this occasion. Thanks to the fellow board members and the county administrator, Greg Meadows, for helping us put the right formula together to make this happen. Thanks also to the school board and superintendent and the Blackburn for their support and their hard work in preparing to build three schools at one time. And I credit especially to Ms. Blackburn for coming to this community and having to face <laughs> this <laughs> tremendous challenge. I mean, she is, to me, has really done a tremendous, tremendous job. <laughs> and to the town of Blacksburg, which I and other board members have worked with diligently to make this all happen. Today marks an important day for our community with construction now 
officially beginning in two high schools. Some may say we moved deliberately. Some may say our plans were too ambitious. Our full and thorough discussions involved many members of the community. This includes parents, teachers, students, our financial advisors, engineers, and many others. We gathered all of the information we needed and weighed all the options. Before embarking on the replacement of two high schools, I believe we have researched diligently all of our options. I believe we are doing the right thing for our community and especially our young people who are our future. So it gives me great pleasure to stand here today and say congratulations and let's get this project started. Thank you. I would introduce Mary Biggs, another supervisor. All right, I'm excited. I don't know about you guys, but this has been a long time coming, and I'm just so grateful that I got an opportunity to address everyone today. February 11, 2010, when the roof literally fell in at BHS, was a defining moment for this community. Our community came together, and the lesson we learned, as Thomas Huxley would say, it is not who is right, but what is right that is of importance. And so 20 months later, we celebrate today, just as we celebrated at the Auburn High School groundbreaking three weeks ago. We celebrate doing what is right and important for our children's future. Our public schools and community are definitely moving forward thanks to the hard work of so many people. Everyone present here today should congratulate themselves for their role in making this day a reality and for being a supporter of quality education in Montgomery County. On a personal note, I know that many of you know that I'm a teacher at Harding Avenue. The first class that I taught at Harding Avenue in 1978 graduated from BHS in 1989. And now the current class that I teach will graduate from the new BHS, I can't believe this, I told them this today, in 2021. What you may not know is that my mother, Rosalie Miller Biggs, grew up in Blacksburg and graduated in 1942 from the original Blacksburg High building, which now houses students today on the Virginia Tech campus. That original building only cost $10,000. Just thought I'd throw that one in. <laughs> I marvel at what an educational connection this represents over time with BHS. 1942 to the future 2021. Past, present, future, a total of 79 years. So in thinking about the challenges faced by BHS students of every generation, the ability to overcome adversity and to persevere seem to be the common denominator. We want to especially thank the faculty, staff, and the students of BHS, along with their parents, for their perseverance and ability to make the best of the challenging situation after the collapse of the gymnasium in February 2010. I'm looking forward to seeing the new high school completed with students and staff moved in and ready to go. So let us celebrate today and get the groundbreaking underway. Thank you. And it's my pleasure to introduce the Mayor of Blacksburg, Ron Rordan. His job is to get you all out of the rain. <laughs> I was going to say, you know, you know when you come and speak and it's raining, you're not going to be too long. And I don't have anything for Paris, so that could be good or bad. But uh, uh, Ms. Fain asked when we came in, didn't we have a magic wand? And rather than make this a ground making, make it a dedication at the school there. So I, I wish that we could. But thank you all for showing up. I do want to point out we have every council member here today and, and a planning commission member. Uh, that's how been our dedication to this project. Uh, it is it is so important. I won't go through thanking everybody that that, uh, that we have because I certainly do echo those things, and I know on behalf of Blacksburg Town Council we all echo those things. Uh, there are two 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 uh, uh, kind of different twists on. I want to thank the parents for one other reason. It's because I think part of the key to all this when I first met with with the chair was what do we do about the old Blacksburg Middle School site, and I think your dedication helped us keep that in focus as we went through that process 
and I think quicker than probably a lot of people thought that we could do working together. So, so thank you for your help. And I want to just specially thank the chair of the Board of Supervisors, Jim Flittis, for all of his help. He's shown himself not just to be, a, I think, a, a personal friend, but a real friend to the, to the children of this county, all of the county. So Jim, thank you. I, when, when you I'm, I'm looking at you all here with your hats and think about, you come from a very rich tradition, Blacksburg High School. Uh, it's, it's a tradition that is steeped in excellence. And one group I don't think has, has been talked about, and I've looked around, and there are a lot of former principals here um, that, uh, that, that came out for this dedication. So if you would please stand up, all the former principals of Blacksburg High School, and uh, so we can give you a round of applause. Two Blacksburg High Graves. So you see that rich tradition that you come from and that you will, will carry on with. Um, I, I could probably go on for another hour, which I think I'd probably just, you know, the deputy town manager said, no, be quiet and sit down. <laughs> Thank you very much. We look forward to breaking ground. And with that, I will commence with announcing who is on the 17 shovels. We have a student and an adult on each one. So. As I announce the name of the adult, please come and get the shovel and the student will meet you and you will walk towards the blue sign and we'll be 17 shovels and about 36 of us and we'll start to break ground once the fight song begins. So, on shovel number one it is Principal Hurst and Emma Douglas. Shovel number one is right here. Shovel number two, Superintendent Brenda Blackburn and Nick Grubbs. Shovel three, Mayor Rordham and Dominique Burke, one of our eighth graders. Shovel four, Joseph Ivers and Jonah Fike. Right down this way. Right down that way, towards the blue sign. Uh, shovel number five, James Politas and Tim Grant. Shovel number six, F. Craig Meadows and Hunter Radford. Shovel seven, Mary Biggs and Ben Galvin. Shovel 8, Walt Shannon and Rhea Capania. Shovel 9, Nelson Simpkins and Samantha Ricks. Shovel 10, Dan Baranato and Z. John Hahn. 11, Mary Fain and Brian Pinote. Shovel 12, Greg Stick and Christy Cho. Shovel 13, Amanda Widener and Caroline Taylor. Shovel 14, uh, Kristen Rakes and Sheila Rakes, if she's here. Shovel 15, Connie Froggett and Heather Froggett. Shovel 16, Suzanne Dana and Alex Pickerel. And shovel 17, John Muffo and Edwin Liu.